Scene Script Have you ever wondered why the German Autobahn has no speed limits? Picture this, a highway system spanning over 8,000 miles, a network of roads crisscrossing the heart of Europe, connecting cities, towns, and even countries. That's the German Autobahn for you. This engineering marvel is not just known for its extensive coverage or its seamless road quality, it's the Autobahn's unique feature that truly sets it apart, the absence of a mandatory speed limit. Yes, you heard it right. There's no official speed limit on most parts of the Autobahn, a feature that's as intriguing as it is exhilarating. Ever since its inception, the Autobahn has held a significant place in Germany's infrastructure, boosting its economy, facilitating travel, and even shaping its car culture. It's a symbol of freedom, of human ingenuity, and the love for speed. So what makes the Autobahn an exception to the norm? Let's dive in to understand why this highway, unlike most others, does not impose any speed limits. The German Autobahn wasn't always the speed limit free zone we know today. Its roots stretch back to the 1920s, during the Weimar Republic, when the idea of a highway network was first conceived. This was a time when cars were becoming more accessible and the need for efficient roadways was becoming increasingly apparent. However, the Autobahn as we recognize it today, truly began to take shape during the reign of the Nazi regime. In the 1930s, Adolf Hitler embraced the idea of a national highway system, seeing it as a way to stimulate the economy and create jobs. The construction of the Autobahn was also seen as a symbol of German technological prowess and was used for propaganda purposes. These highways, designed for high-speed travel, became the foundation of the modern Autobahn. After the devastation of World War II, the Autobahn required significant reconstruction. In the post-war era, West Germany took on the task of rebuilding and expanding the Autobahn network. By the 1970s, it had grown into a comprehensive system that spanned the length and breadth of the country. Now let's shift gears and talk about speed limits. Initially, there were no restrictions on how fast vehicles could travel on the Autobahn. However, during the oil crisis in the early 1970s, a temporary speed limit was introduced as a measure to conserve fuel. Once the crisis had passed, these speed limits were removed in most areas, allowing drivers once again to decide for themselves how fast they wanted to go. So, how did we end up with the Autobahn we know today? A highway system that is largely free of speed limits? It's a combination of historical events, economic factors, and the German love for driving. The Autobahn has evolved into a symbol of freedom and the spirit of exploration, where the only limit is the horizon ahead. Now that we know the history, let's explore why the speed limits never made a comeback. The lack of speed limits on the Autobahn isn't due to a lack of regulation, but a result of careful consideration. One of the primary reasons is the superior engineering of German cars. Germany is home to some of the most prestigious car manufacturers in the world, including BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi. These vehicles are designed and built to perform at high speeds, with a level of precision and reliability that is second to none. The Autobahn provides the perfect testing ground for these high-performance machines. Next, let's talk about the Autobahn itself. It isn't your average highway, it's meticulously maintained to ensure a smooth and safe driving experience. The road surfaces are regularly checked and repaired and the lanes are wide and clear. This makes it possible for drivers to safely travel at high speeds. Then there's the rigorous driver education and licensing process in Germany. Before you can even think about stepping foot on the Autobahn, you need to go through an intensive driver training program. This includes both theoretical and practical testing, with a particular focus on high-speed driving. It's not just about how to handle a car at high speeds, but also understanding the importance of keeping a safe distance, lane discipline, and how to react in an emergency. Lastly, car manufacturers and automobile clubs play a pivotal role in maintaining the status quo. They lobby against speed limit proposals, arguing that it would hinder the performance of German cars and affect the country's automobile industry. They believe that the current system, with its emphasis on driver responsibility and vehicle performance, is the best way to ensure safety on the Autobahn. So, as we can see, there's a lot more to the no speed limit rule than meets the eye. It's a combination of superior car engineering, meticulous road maintenance, strict driver education, and the influence of powerful stakeholders. All these factors come together to create a unique driving environment where speed limits are not just unnecessary, but would actually be a hindrance to the overall experience. But what does a highway with no speed limits actually mean for drivers and the country as a whole? Well, let's begin with the drivers. The absence of speed limits on the Autobahn influences their driving behavior significantly. 
It encourages them to maintain a high level of alertness and responsibility on the road. After all, when you're sharing a highway with vehicles that could be moving at 200 km per hour, there's no room for complacency. Now let's talk about traffic safety. While high-speed driving does pose risks, the Autobahn's design minimizes these. Its wide lanes, gentle curves, and long sight distances make it one of the safest highways globally. Yet the environmental impact is a concern. High-speed driving leads to higher fuel consumption and increased carbon emissions. This has sparked a debate, with some advocating for speed limits to reduce environmental harm. Regardless of the debates, the Autobahn remains a symbol of German engineering prowess and freedom on the road. So, to wrap up, we've journeyed through the fascinating history of the German Autobahn, a highway network that has become a symbol of German efficiency and freedom. We've explored its beginnings, birthed from a need for improved transport infrastructure, to its evolution into the boundary-pushing road system it is today. We've delved into the reasons behind its lack of speed limits, a unique feature that sets it apart from highways around the globe. This stems from the German belief in individual responsibility, freedom, and the country's unwavering commitment to automotive innovation. Lastly, we've seen the impact of this no-speed limit policy. It's a testament to how a blend of driver education, road design, and vehicle maintenance can coexist to create a safe and efficient driving environment. And there you have it, the intriguing story of why the German Autobahn has no speed limits safe travels, and remember, the freedom of the road comes with responsibility.